Oh my, <laughs> like a, the put <laughs> I can't do this. Ronald? Hey, Ronnie. Together, we're the Rons. Ronnie, do you remember when uh, you had that hot tub growing up? And we'd jump in with the neighborhood kids when it was like super hot and uh, in the hot tub, but it was extremely cold and there was a ton of snow in your backyard. <laughs> you know what that reminds me of? Remember the game we used to play in that hot tub? We would get in this hot tub, and to Ron Ronald's point, it was really, really cold outside and really, really hot in the hot tub. Yeah. It was felt hot. Yeah, could have been safe. No, definitely <laughs> not. And we would see who could get out of the hot tub and run the furthest away from the hot tub and get back in. Now two things happen. Number one, it's freaking cold. Yeah. And you're running in you know, at least knee deep snow away from the hot tub. But when you get back in, if you've ever been in snow oh, yeah. and then got into a hot hot tub, it's as if it's three times hotter than when you were in there last time because of the cold and the heat and there's some scientific thing that Ronald's probably smarter than me yeah. that can figure out. What I remember is like growing up that um, always it was a competition. Everything that yeah, turned out to be just always. fun. Okay, hey, you know, let's uh, let's just see who can run. And no, 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 who can run the farthest and who wins? Like, who's the winner? It's always a competition uh, with everything we did in our in our neighborhood. So, hot tubs, man. I I think that's a topic. Yeah. How about we talk about it? Hot tubs in general are a really funny thing. Like, yeah. I mean, sure, you know, running out of it and getting yeah. you know in the snow and coming back is fun, but. I, for some unknown reason, my dad was either trying to boil us, or I don't know why, but he would keep that thing at like 104, 105, maybe even 106 degrees, which is, I think 102 that, is like top. That's, that's the thing about, about hot tubs, is that like, when is hot, hot enough? And there's probably some regulations out there, but I remember I was with a group of, group of friends, we rented this place, and it had a hot tub. And that's why you rented the place, because it has a hot tub, right? right? It's like, it's gonna be the coolest thing for a bunch of friends to have. Well. As soon as we get there, all excited, grabbed a drink, and the first person who ran out wasn't me. It was one of the uh, one of the girls in the group. She just jumps into the hot tub, uh, and and it was scalding hot, like oh super goodness. scalding hot. Got out super uh, super red, and we basically had a pile of snow in the thing to uh, to cool it down. But we were worried. Wow. I mean, there, hot tubs are just a safety issue. That's the real issue. Well. well Yes, there's many safety issues. I mean, that's why they put chemicals in. What do you think they're killing? Oh, I mean, God knows what they're killing that's in there. But I think hot tubs in general are just funny. Like, growing up, you know, I had a, a sister, and I'm sure, you know, I may have taken a bath with my sister because I was, you know, two or three years old. But as an adult, I've never taken a bath with anybody before. So why am I getting in this uh, yeah. thing that is basically a bathtub with my friends? Well, and, and even even more, like a hot tub, it's just so hot that it's actually like shedding all that dirt and, uh, dirt <laughs> and grime. So, true. so it's like you're taking a bath with someone without soap, so there's not even anything sanitary about it. Sure, maybe there's some chemicals in the water, but that's not cleaning your body. Yeah. Essentially, the water is just getting all the grime off your body, all the sweat, the bacteria, and saying, hey, how about you have some too? Yeah, you, you know, <laughs> my, uh, my grandparents lived in a retirement community in Florida. And they had a hot tub in there, you know, like a community hot tub. I literally thought that there were like dead skin floating on the top of it. It was just gross because your point, like the heat kills everything off the body and yeah. puts it into the hot tub. Yeah, yeah. And the thing is too, it's like you think about it. Okay, well if you go to a public hot tub, you know, they've got regulations on how to put the chemicals in there to make sure it's safe or whatever. But then it's just like, okay, now you're taking a bath with all these people you don't even know. You don't know how sanitary they are, how clean they are, whatever. You're just in there bathing with them. But then you go to somebody's house with their hot tub, they don't know how to maintain this thing. You know, they've got it to their taste. Maybe there's no chemicals in there because they just like it. Right. So, you're, so essentially nothing's getting killed in, yeah. this, in this hot tub. And and let's face it, in a hot tub, there's some stuff happening. Like, you've all been there before. Woo, man, that was a good workout. You know what feel good right now? Hot tub naked. Oh yeah, I love to get me some jacuzzi on yeah. without the be closing on. Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna try to get in this thing. Why not? Yeah, yeah. You, oh, I see you work oh, legs yeah. as well. Oh that, yeah, my legs are a little stiff after that workout. You know, let me come over here and talk uh, to you for a minute. So I had gone to Juneau, which is the capital city of Alaska for those of you that don't know, and I did this ski race there and I stayed at this hotel and I must have been in ninth or 10th grade and they had a community hot tub where it was out of the men's locker room, out of the women's locker room. You come to this community hot tub, there was a door 
on both sides of it to the to the jacuzzi from the locker room. It was literally like you were walking into a hot tub and all of a sudden there was men and women in there. Yep. And after a ski race, when you're going in there, you're going there, you want your legs to feel good, but wow, alcohol should not be allowed at a public hot tub. <laughs> Let's just say, like there was literally people sitting on people's laps. I'm, you know, 14 years old, which I'm cool with that, but. Uh, the, the subtext in there, what he's saying is, he really liked that hot tub. You know, you remember growing yeah. up when we went to the Alaska Club, which yeah. was this awesome gym. I was waiting know. for you to tell that story. Oh my yeah. gosh. People go to this hot tub naked. Now that's weird, but what's really weird is the people who are going into this hot tub naked and they are facing against the wall where there conveniently is a jet. I just kind of spin around and if I happen to be right in front of that jet like that, you know, that's okay too. Oh, it feels yeah, kind of nice. Let me do the jet. Oh uh, my goodness. Hey, 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 oh, whoa, hey, you're, oh. you're a little more flexible than I am. Yes, I've got the, oh jeez, hold on a second. I got to get, oh my I think goodness, my, let me go. Excuse me, I got to go. My legs might pop up. Uh, and you've probably seen this, you've been into hot tubs like that are connected to locker rooms where people are just like, they're walking naked in the locker room. First off, why are you walking naked? Right, Ronnie said, why are you walking naked in the locker room? But then you don't put on your shorts to get in this hot tub that you're sharing. So you're in this like small enclosed area, bathtub. completely a bathtub, basically naked. And then why are you turning around and facing the jet? For men, if you happen to face the jet and hit certain parts at the right <laughs> angle, it might feel okay. <laughs> Bad things happen in hot tub. Adults know this. Yeah. So if you have a hot tub at your house and you have kids, why would you not think bad things aren't gonna happen in the hot tub? You need to be on high alert if you have a hot tub at your house and teenagers. You know, I've always wondered, like, well, you know, you watch on TV or uh, in, in the movies, like, you end up on a date with someone you hardly know. This could be a first date or just a, a few dates oh, yeah. in, and all of, a, you're, all of a sudden they're in the hot tub. John, that was a really nice date. I had a lot of fun. Yeah, Jane, that was really fun. You know, I was thinking, we don't want to let the night end so early. What do you think about taking a little bit of a hot tub? How does that happen? You just go from like, okay, yeah, nice to know you. Next thing you know, you're kind of taking a bath together. Tequila. That's how that happens. <laughs> it's all, and, it's, and it's it all the 14 year old co-ed uh, hot tub and alcohol story. Listen, that's, what, that's what it's all about. Hey, you're yeah. cutting to the chase. Like there's nothing, you know, if you're, if you're of you know, yeah. legal consent age and you're going out with someone else yeah. and, and you want to okay. find out what they look like in their bathing suit, that actually looks pretty good. That might be, it might be fun. Hey girl, hey, let's Whoa, do... hey, John, hey. you know, you're, where's your swim trunks? I think a hot tub is a great place for a first date. It's not awkward. We can all be ourselves and it's just feeling really <gasps> au natural, but I gotta dry off a little now, so mind I'm gonna Whoa, stand up here. Whoa, hey, hey. So when I was in college, I think it was my junior, senior year, I actually had an apartment with a guy at a community complex that had a hot tub. Yep. You know, had a pool and a hot tub. And I actually met a girl on a first date. It wasn't even a date. We met yep. in the hot tub. Like I picked her up in the hot tub. Oh, and nice. That's a, now, this is actually, it's a great place to meet people. I didn't I, think about this until see, this story. Hey, Ronnie, you were really down on hot tubs at the beginning of this conversation and you've come completely, uh, completely around. I'll admit, I've got a hot tub at my house. I didn't put it in. It was there when I bought the house. You know, I don't know if I would have ever built one uh, uh, because uh, in actuality, I probably only use it like well, once or once or twice a year. You know, let's talk about the elephant in the room though. Who pees in a hot tub? Uh, because let's be honest, you know, when you, you've seen those pranks where people put somebody's hand in hot water when they're sleeping to make them go pee. How many of these people, especially in these public hot tubs, pee in it? I don't know. I don't know. I, I got a little more faith in humanity. I just don't see people uh, peeing in hot tubs. But you know, peeing in the hot tub brings up another topic that I think is definitely worth exploring. Peeing in the shower. Mmm. Yep. Yeah, that is that is an interesting uh, topic. I, yeah, I, I've, I've had that conversation uh, with people before, and uh, I was astounded by some really, really strong opinions about should you pee in the shower or should you not? Mm. I think we should cover that. So yes. if you like that topic, yep. click right here. We're going to talk about feeding in the shower. Take care for now. Ronald, I'll catch you later, man. Ronnie, see ya.